this idea, this notion that you're not born gay, you're sort of you become gay through malevolent forces, abominant uh, forces, and so on, uh, and that somehow you can be cured. As a gay man, how do you feel about that? Um, I think it's offensive, to, to be honest, and that's just me personally. I, I find it very offensive. Um, but more so than that, I, I think beyond being offensive, I, I think it has real, genuine. Um, possibility of, of causing harm to people. Right. True. You think being gay is a sin and you think that people aren't born gay, they all become gay? I think that science is very clear. Even the American Psychological Association said that there's no evidence one way or the other in terms of the effectiveness but, but what do you believe? of therapy. Um, I believe that people are not born gay, that they come into homosexual feelings uh, and that it is something that in some cases is reversible for people who want to make that the trajectory uh, of their lives. Why should it be reversed, these homosexual urges that these people suddenly experience? Because it's inconsistent with some people's value systems and they, they want to you be true yours? to themselves. You mean your value system? Well, I think we're here today because there's clearly a population group who feel that they do, are not comfortable with homosexual expression. Well, it probably and doesn't they want help if they're being yeah, called you know, an you know aberration. We, do you know what we call these people, Dr. Mark? We call them horrible little bigots in the modern world. Mm -hmm. Just bigoted people who actually talk complete claptrap and are, in my view, a malevolent and dangerous part of our society. What's the matter with you? How can you think that nobody's born gay and they all get corrupted well, and they can all be cured? Who are you to say such garbage? Where's your where's evidence? Where's my evidence? Where's, where's, my, evidence? where's, where's my evidence that you were born straight? Where is your evidence, where's your evidence that, that you homosexuality were born straight? is something that is innate and unchangeable? Where is your Not evidence? Not even the American Psychological Proof Association... To me. Or the Royal Dr. College Michael, stop of Psychiatrists talking for a moment, right? have stop presented that evidence. Stop banging on about evidence. wacky, backy scientists It's evidence. America. Where's the evidence? I'm asking you a question. It's this. Prove to me that you're straight. How do I... Why do I care about that? All I want is to be well, you free... You seem to care very much about people like Josh. You think he wasn't born no, gay. No. He got corrupted <laughs> by these urges and now needs to be cured by St. David... Uh, St. Michael, who is cured. here to... To cured. rid the world of the scourge of homosexuality. You've to which it... I say, shut up, you old bigot. You've, you've got it wrong, Piers. Sorry, but this you... is ridiculous. <laughs> You're not giving people who have a right to find their own pathway in life the freedom and the space to be able to do Has that. Has it crossed your bigot in mind that gay people may not want to find your path? The gay right? people... But they may be quite happy come in being my direction gay. And actually, they don't do want to be want told to they change. can be cured of this aberration because that's deeply offensive. For, for some people, it is. And they need to have the dignity and the freedom to live life as they want to. But there are other people who want to go in a different direction. And they need to be protected. If we're a truly democratic society, we will protect minority rights. And this is a minority right recognised throughout the world. Watch our, f our film, Voices of the do you Silence. Still, do you still get homosexual urges yourself? I can be triggered, but I no longer have the same... Are you triggered same... now? <laughs> I mean, you're sitting next to a gay man. Are you triggered at the moment or not? Absolutely I'm not. What, what, what I see is a young man here living the life that he feels uh, is right and congruent with his own set of values. You think it's wrong and ab aberration and he should be cured, right? I, no. I have never said anybody should be cured. Right. I, I, I've read an awful lot about you, um, Mike Davidson, mm -hmm. and... Um, what I would say is that I think that the very fact that you even offer this therapy, you say that you are giving people a choice. I think that that suggests that it, to be gay is somehow lesser or somehow people shouldn't be fine with. Surely, therapy. let me finish, surely therapists should be helping people come to terms with their sexuality rather than trying to change it. Well, what is your success rate? Um, let me ask, answer the first question. I think therapists should be working with the agendas that clients bring not imposing their agenda and whether it's imposing an agenda to help them come out of it or imposing agenda to help them affirm it is still the therapist's agenda a therapist's job is to listen to the client and to work with them to achieve what they want to and if they are autonomous individuals 
who are legitimately there because they, they are free to do that, they haven't been sent, mm -hmm. then they need to be respected and understood. Not everybody who works with me is going to come out uh, a heterosexual person in a relationship with a woman, a but many of them, of your probably, rate? well, in the last year, um, I'm seeing up to uh, 14 uh, a week. Uh, many of the men are in therapy for 18 months to two years, sometimes two and a half years. I suppose this year I have seen two or three go on into viable relationships with women. They are happy and they are content. Why in Great Britain today are we not satisfied with allowing them to choose their direction. Why is You're, that an okay. indictment Do against gay yeah. people? You're, it shouldn't um, be. Well, the indictment against gay people comes because people like you say things like homosexuality is an aberration. Being gay is a maladjustment. Yes. It's a trauma, right? I Some people may that. be under the impression, Dr. Mike, that somehow you are bigoted against homosexuality and think there's something wrong with it, which you do. I do. Right. I, I do think that homosexuality is not the best answer. Now, I... Yeah. I...